Hello guys from Federico Town. Today I'm going to talk about, well, guess who it is? Well, it's an immense legend. It's none other than uh, Roger Federer. Uh, tonight it's going to be, of course, a special edition because uh, the Swiss uh, announced today his retirement from professional tennis. This is really sad news for tennis, but it was predictable due to the fact that he's 41 years old and he has had many setbacks and many injuries in the last years. And uh, the next week's uh, Labour Cup will be his final ATP event. I hope for him that he's going to clinch the title with Team Europe to end a beautiful career, an exceptional, an exceptional career. And uh, let's all not forget that he has played more than 1,500 matches over his illustrious 24-year career, which is something... Uh, amazing, I think uh, Roger uh, he has changed the game so much, he has, has revolutionized um, this sport, he's a great ambassador uh, for this uh, for the sport of course and uh, let's also remember his incredible achievements, he held on the number one position for 310 weeks, it's the second uh, longest reign behind that of Djokovic who broke that record uh, a while ago, and uh, I mean, uh, 20 Grand Slams, uh, 6 ATP World Tour Finals, 28 Masters 1000, um, one of the most successful tennis player ever to hold a racket. We all uh, remember his great rivalries with uh, Andy Roddick, Juan Carlos Ferrero, uh, the big three, of course, with Djokovic and Rafael Nadal, his great matches against these two guys, his matches also against Andy Murray, his Davis Cup win, his moments in the Olympic Games, uh, the doubles Olympic gold medal, uh, many more, many moments uh, when he held number one position for being the, old, the oldest player in history to uh, hold that position again and I mean we're gonna miss him so much, this is very sad, I'm very uh, Emotional. I hope uh, to not cry in this video. I, I'm trying to do the best effort uh, I can, and uh, well, um, I mean, we, we're gonna miss this era with the big three, with Rafa, Djokovic, and Federer. Um, Rafa Nadal and Djokovic are not retiring yet, but uh, who would have ever known that jo uh, Federer would have had a long career like that? We will remember his French Open moment in 2009 when he won the career Grand Slam. That was very emotional for him. Uh, Wimbledon 2009, the great final against in Andy Roddick, which was heartbreaking for the American, but it was the day when Federer uh, broke Sampras' record of 14 Grand Slams. I mean, legendary moments that we will never forget. Of course, uh, Roger... It's the most talented player I've ever seen in my life and tennis to hold a racket, the most talented. In terms of technique, I think he's the greatest of all time. In terms of records achievement, of course, Djokovic and Nadal have the biggest chance to become the greatest players ever to hold a racket. But uh, I hope Federer is going to play well at the Labour Cup and uh, I wish him the best for him and his future endeavors. And uh, I think he's going to always stay involved in the game of tennis in the near uh, future guys thank you very much uh, for listening that's it for today and if you like the channel don't hesitate to subscribe and don't forget to leave a like and see you next time bye